Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Monty. I'm here to actually talk to you about Black Friday. And what's interesting is I'm gonna go into this Black Friday. And uh, the reason I'm talking to you the first Friday after Black Friday is because I was actually participating in Black Friday from a business stance. And what I wanna to talk to you is a couple of the top 10 things that you really need to know about Black Friday. Welcome back, it's Monty. I'm here with uh, the top 10 things you really need to know about Black Friday. And it's interesting to me because I didn't really pay a lot of attention to Black Friday. I always know, I knew about the, the big rush to go to the stores on Black Friday, but it wasn't something that I really particularly wanted to participate in. And I didn't necessarily think about it from a business stance, but I really should have. And it was very interesting to me because um, I'm gonna get into some of the real cool things that I learned about Black Friday as I started to get prepared for Black Friday this year as I participated from a business stand. One of the most interesting facts I ever learned about Black Friday, Black Friday was referring to a stock market crash. Um, it was actually referring to a stock market crisis that happened and it was September 24th, 1869 that there was this huge stock market crash and uh, it was when the Fisk and Jay Gould were trying to uh, corner the gold market. It's uh, it's an interesting thing and it's an interesting story. If you look more details into it, it was really an investment side of why it was called Black Friday. Uh, but again, that was the 1800s. Again, to be specific, it was 1869 when Fisk and Gould tried to corner the gold market. That's interesting fact number one. Number two, usually, and this is kind of one of the most interesting things about Black Friday as things have continued to progress, it was really essentially started with the uh, Santa Claus and the Macy's Parade on Thanksgiving. So that's why people usually celebrate Black Friday, obviously, on that Friday. And again, people would have the entire Thanksgiving Day Parade and then they'd see the Santa Claus and then, okay, it's Black Friday. That was the next day of actual sales. Uh, but that was how December 2nd, 1905 was kind of the official kickoff and it was the end of the parade that signaled the beginning of Black Friday. And uh, 1924, Macy's Parade uh, was held. Well, actually that was kind of the uh, the premier Macy's Day Parade. Uh, but 1905 was when it was called, uh, is when in Canada, where they called the Santa Claus Parade. But that was before the 1924 Thanksgiving Day Parade with Black Friday. But again, it was really going and, and having this whole uh, Thanksgiving parade in, in 1924 in, in the US that they had the, the Macy's Day Parade and it ended with Santa Claus and signified the whole Black Friday thing. It was kind of a bizarre thing, uh, but that's kind of how it came to be. What's interesting is that Black Friday was once called Big Friday and that was many, many, many years ago. Again, we're talking about like 1975 when people would talk about Big Friday because from a retailer perspective, it was the big deals. It was where they were gonna make big money because that's when people started to go, Thanksgiving's over, let's look at Christmas. You know, as it progresses, you have Halloween, which is a huge day for businesses if you're actually in the market of promoting Halloween. And then you had Thanksgiving was the next day. People were buying turkeys, buying hams, honey baked hams, all these things, uh, consuming foods, getting ready for uh, football games and things that happened on Thanksgiving. But then right after that, you had Big Friday. So that's kind of where things uh, were in, again, there was the 70s, that uh, 75 was when that really started to, to kick off the term and the New York Times actually kicked that off. Black Friday wasn't really officially, officially claimed until about 2001. And it was thought it was the biggest shopping day of the year. It was really kind of positioned that way. Um, but it was actually the Saturday before Christmas that was really, uh, the best every year. So Black Friday was positioned to be sort of a big day, but it was that, that Saturday before Christmas that was really the biggest shopping day. And that was a, an interesting thing. Again, a lot of Black Fridays, we're talking pre-internet, this was all in person. So people were getting that Christmas bonus, Christmas rush, they're rushing to get the deals. Black Friday was just sort of a, a theory people were kind of building upon. Now. The word spread to 15 countries around the world, and that's kind of one of the most interesting facts. Again, we're, we're talking about the way the word spread was really just kind of letting people know, you know, Canadian retailers were gonna have things, uh, the United States had retailers that were gonna have things, and we're talking about uh, the UK, Brazil, India, France, Norway, and many more countries participated in Black Friday. 
funny thing is, when I talk to countries that are not in the United States, a lot of them do not have as much of a focus of Black Friday. And let's be real clear, there isn't really the same history with Thanksgiving that the United States has. So Black Friday is really a traditionally uh, Western and specifically United States holiday. And it's really connected to, again, Canada, the US, with the intention of after Thanksgiving, having these kinds of uh, deals. In Mexico, it's uh, called El Buen Fin. It's actually the entire weekend instead of talking about Friday. I'm gonna come back to circle back to that. So um, Walmart broke the traditional Black Friday norm, but actually having people to do uh, Black Friday uh, when the stores um, Thanksgiving evening. And that's what I'm gonna get to. Uh, again, I'm gonna circle back to the weekend, but this is Thanksgiving evening. Walmart broke the norm by starting some of the deals on Thanksgiving evening. One of the things before I actually circle to the final thing I'm really gonna to touch on, which is Black Friday. 12% uh, of Black Friday shoppers are drunk. And that's just sort of an interesting stat that people would actually uh, have a tendency to have much more of a, a drinking thing happening on Black Friday because usually Thanksgiving, they're, they're totally into the turkey, totally into the food, and they're, and they're still trying to recover from all the actual uh, dulging of the actual festivities on Thanksgiving. So I'm really gonna speak to, and this is the last point, I've, I've, covered, I've covered more than 10, um, but essentially these are the 10 pieces that I wanted to talk about that are Black Friday. And number 10 is more specific to Cyber Week. And, and so one of the most interesting things and this is from my stance. I, those other stats are just kind of give you the history of Black Friday. This is really particularly towards your business being able to benefit from Black Friday. And it kind of speaks back to what Walmart did when they first started to uh, coin the position to say Black Friday Eve or Thanksgiving Eve uh, was how people actually started to do shopping. But when you're preparing for Black Friday, usually most businesses are actually preparing the entire year, essentially planning what they're gonna do, how they're gonna do it, when they're gonna do it, who's gonna be staffed, how that process is built around their business. Because that Friday, the theory is this is where the most shopping is gonna happen. As time has progressed to e-commerce, people have done a lot more. 50, more than 50% of the actual e-commerce is done is done on Amazon. As an Amazon partner, I'm blessed to participate in that in some way, shape or form. But it's not just about being Amazon. If you have an e-commerce platform, you have an audience, if you have a community that you can build around, you should be participating in Black Friday too. Now let's frame it. Black Friday is one day. The weekend consists of uh, small business Saturday. I uh, don't know what they call Sunday, but I, if, if I have it, it'll pop up in the actual description. Uh, so Black Friday, small business Saturday, Cyber Monday. And Cyber Monday actually kicks off Cyber Week, which is very interesting. Now, let me frame it to you. Um, one of the more interesting facts that we learned, uh, we were actually participating with another group and uh, the previous Black Friday, they were able to uh, generate somewhere north of, of 30K in sales. And what they did was they did some platform sharing and, and some engagement within their audience. And within one short period of time, they were able to produce 30K in sales. And we learned that and said, wow, we, when we helped them in that process, we're like, wow, this is amazing. This is awesome. This is extraordinary. And they did that all online. This was all completely done online. And I was just on this whole Black Friday weekend. So we stepped back and we said, okay, let's look at Black Friday and how we can actually participate. And if we get that 10% right, we'd be good. So within that scope, uh, what we understood, and this is part of what I'm sharing with you, Black Friday does not just happen on that Friday. If you're focused on the sales, you can do business on that Wednesday before Thanksgiving, that Friday of Thanksgiving, that small business Saturday, potentially a Sunday, which can be an incredible day, and Cyber Monday. That's really five days you have the opportunity to participate in. Again, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday where you're doing sales. That's a week of sales where people are just having the opportunity to do Cyber Week, Cyber Wednesday. And let's let's talk about Cyber Week. Cyber Week is usually the week after Black Friday, but I'm saying from a general financial perspective, you can actually be involved in that Wednesday. That's from what we've experienced. We did sales on Wednesday. Uh, we did sales on Friday. We did sales on Monday. We received more volume of sales on Cyber Monday. The most sale, the most gross number of sales we actually got was on that Cyber Monday. If we were to compare between uh, Wednesday, Friday, and Monday, Monday got 25% more sales. Wednesday had at least 20% more gross revenue. So more sales was on Cyber Monday, 
more gross revenue kept it on Wednesday. And what that means is, even though there was a, a bit of a discount on Wednesday, people were more apt to pay higher prices on that Wednesday before Thanksgiving. They were more angry, not more angry, they were more interested, more uh, aggressively shopping to get things that were, these are the pre-pre-deal deals. By the time Black Friday came, people were engaged, but they weren't necessarily as engaged as they were that Wednesday because there's a lot to look at on uh, Black Friday. By the time Cyber Monday comes, people have settled down, they're not as drunk, they're not as overly anxious, and they're, they're looking to get some deals online. And everything I'm speaking to is all online. This has nothing to do with going in person or setting up a, a, a pop-up shop or any of those things. This is strictly talking about the online presence of Black Friday. So that's what I'm sharing. I just want to be able to tell you, hey, uh, take advantage of being able to, this is the, you know, these are the 10 things, but this is the biggest thing of the 10 things. Be able to take advantage of the Black Friday trends by taking advantage of being on the uh, platforms on Wednesday before Thanksgiving, Friday, that Friday, the Black Friday after Thanksgiving, Cyber Monday at least, Small Business Saturday, especially for small, and Hidden Gym, Hidden Gym is that Sunday. Uh, we've had some tremendous, tremendous sales on that Sunday. Usually we've seen better sales on the weekdays than we've seen on Sundays, but Sundays has been an exceptional, especially Sunday evenings, has been an exceptional performer for us on a pretty consistent basis. So that's it, that's all. I wanted to share that with you. I look forward to your participating. Please like, share, subscribe. If there's anything you wanted to see us uh, cover, please let us know. And we look forward to giving you uh, great insights towards business, generating revenue, and making some things happen. Bye.